but for the nurse, the teacher, the police officer, who, frankly, at the end of each month, they've got a little financial crisis going on. They're having to take out extra debt just to make their mortgage payments. Uh, we haven't been paying attention to them. And if you look at our tax policies, it's a classic example. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. President, but I couldn't agree more. However, don't you feel that the tax policies and other common acknowledgments about what is hurting the average American is actually quite benign when compared to the very foundation of our economic system? You know, making money out of debt, charging interest on it that doesn't exist, which means that there is always more outstanding debt than there is money to pay for it. Of course, that lends itself to more debt being created to cover it, and essentially failure and bankruptcy is inevitable. Not for the upper classes as much as the lower middle classes, of course. Why? Because the lower classes are the ones taking the loans for their home and their car, while the upper class are actually making interest income. Rather than paying interest, they actually make interest through their deposits and investments. Obviously, this secures a massive growing class divide structurally. Is that uh, not something worth considering? No?